8th of February 2021. Um, I've made this little layup uh, over the weekend, over the last two days, just to get myself acquainted with um, doing the full sandwich with a vacuum bag. Uh, there's my vacuum pump. So that this with a bit of vacuum bagging, you can see some areas here that I'm not sure if that's just surface texture. It looks like the peel ply didn't go, didn't get fully wetted out, and it made uh, these lines where the bed uh, wasn't wasn't fully covered by epoxy between the peel ply and the actual layup. So this, at, initially I thought it was dryness, but this, as you can see, when I sand it, it's a bit, it's at the top. This is surface texture, so I'm happier with that than I was initially. Here you did see some actual dryness. That's a dry spot. It's obviously a little bit of work needed on technique. Um, this goes all the way down and you can see it from all angles you can See the shimmeriness there So that's uh, dry, but you know, it's less than 10% I'm sure this would be within limits uh, This whole layup looks dry, but it's actually just the peel ply that was dry So I'm gonna have to work on that, but this is just a practice piece. It's actually astounding to me how thin those layers of uh, gloss are there on the top. That's uh, three uh, plies. That's one uh, uni uh, going across and then bed at 45 degrees, two layers. And um, this thing I can easily stand on with my entire weight. And that's just this foam, this PVC foam uh, H80. So this is PVC foam, two, well, six plies of gloss, three on each side. And I can easily, easily put my entire weight on this. No problem, it doesn't even budge. So, quite happy with that. So tonight, I've um, wrapped this piece of MDF. Come now. What's the, what's the focus, okay. That's a piece of MDF wrapped in uh, pallet wrap or saran wrap. And it's, um, I've drawn out the landing gear bulkheads on that. That's 12 inches by 8 inches. That's not the entire, uh, not bulkhead, landing gear attach point. Um, this is going to get 22 plies of bidirectional. It should amount to a quarter of an inch. We're going to measure that when we're done to make sure it's the right thickness. And then that's going to get cut up and installed into the landing gear hardpoint slots in the landing gear bulkhead. Suddenly you're nowhere to be found. I turn around.
Okay, so the, today's the next day. Um, last night, my first my power went off, and then I had to work by lamplight, and then um, eventually my phone died while I was recording too. Uh, the lighting here is not the best, but we'll try to get that. Is landing gear hot points? Uh, this was a <laughs> I thought at the time a disastrous layup. It's come out pretty well. It's come out exactly a quarter inch, which I'm happy with because um, one of the plies just wasn't aligning well and I ended up just chucking it. It's become hard. There is just a tiny bit of epoxy in there, so that's where we're going to have to throw away. But um, when that wasn't lining up the way I wanted it, I just chucked it and I ended up with one less layer than I wanted to. I wanted to do 24 plies. Um, the plan score for 22 and I ended up doing 23 uh, only because our fabric is a little bit lighter than uh, the US stuff and if we do more than a certain amount of plies it becomes significant so we add some more but this is solid uh, the surface didn't come out quite as I wanted because um, what we're seeing here oh there's a divot in it Okay, there was a little bit of a bump there. We'll have to just maybe sand that out and fill it up with flocks. Mm, but for the most part, um, putting the putting the pallet wrap over it as the plans calls out has caused it not to look great. And it does look like a trapped epoxy. Um, a trapped epoxy between the, the the cling film and the fiberglass so here we see just bare fiberglass and then we've got the surface doesn't look right probably going to sand that quite a bit to, to get it in there don't like this thing though something pushed into this don't know what i did weigh it down with a flat board and uh, put some um, i just put a bunch of these bottles on top of it to weigh it down um, seems to have worked for the most part but there must have been something in there my board is flat I did check that so something got in there and made a little ding but okay as I said we'll fill it so I've only cut the one inch just to see if the thickness came out right the, the rest still has to be trimmed but I have to say that is a very solid piece of fiberglass <laughs> If the bang thing we can ting nari, the paya catos, okay, a catos, a contalana, we ruta assi. Zapu, we flew, we can eat my ad. If the bang thing we can ting nari, the paya catos, okay, a catos, a contalana, we ruta assi. Zapu, we flew, we can eat my ad. If the bang thing we can ting nari, the paya catos. 